Let's take a look at the characteristics of the buzzer speaker and see how we can interface it to the MXP and MSP connectors. Here's the buzzer speaker that's included in the MyRio stutter kit. This is a model from Soberton. It's called a magnetic transducer and you see the part number there. Let's take a look at some of its important characteristics. It has a speaker coil. Speaker coil is approximately 30 ohms requires 80 milliamps max current, and it has a 5 volt nominal voltage. The overall voltage range is 4 to 6 volts. In terms of the sound output from the speaker, we have 90 dB maximum level, and resonance at 3100 hertz. I'll point out that the sound port on the buzzer speaker reinforces the mid and low frequencies. You might try plugging with that, plugging that port with your finger and see the difference. Now the device requires 5 volts, and it really is designed for direct control by a digital output. This is maybe a little bit different than a conventional speaker. Now let's see how we can interface this to my Rio. Here's a basic circuit that works nicely. I'm using a 5 volt supply for VDD. Here's my speaker along the way, and then I'm using the 2N3904 NPN transistor to switch the current on and off through the buzzer speaker. We can control this from a digital output that is either 0 volts or 3.3 volts. When you activate the control line with a square wave of period T, then the frequency that you hear is the reciprocal of that value. That would be the frequency in hertz. I'll also point out the small signal diode located up here. That's dealing with the fact that when the transistor is on, you have a pretty sizable current flowing from the power supply through the speaker and then through the transistor on its way to ground. And this current can be on the order of 80 milliamps. Now when you abruptly switch the transistor off, that would seem to suggest that the current should go to zero immediately but however, there is stored energy in the coil's magnetic field, which is proportional to the current squared. That energy needs to be dissipated somewhere, and so when you switch it off, the diode becomes forward biased, and then it dissipates the stored energy in the coil. Without this diode, you would have a large negative voltage spike appearing across the transistor, and eventually this is going to damage the damage the transistor. So the diode is an important protection feature in this circuit. The 1K base resistor works nicely when you're using the NPN transistor. However, if you prefer not to use that resistor at all, you can use the ZVN2110 N-channel enhancement MOSFET that's also included in the starter kit. This way you eliminate the resistor and just do a direct connection to the DIO. Regardless of which transistor you use, setting the output low turns the transistor off, and setting the output high turns the transistor on. Now here's a consideration if current draw either after a power on or after a software reset is a concern, to recognize that the DIO now becomes an input. And on the MSP side, that is connector C, we would have an internal pull-down resistor of somewhere between 37k and 40k. And this pull-down resistor will guarantee that the transistor is off. In this case, there's no current draw through the speaker. However, if you use the MXP style connector, and this would be connectors A and B, then you have an internal pull-up resistor of, again, about 38k up to 40k, and that's pulling towards the 3.3 volt supply. Now the transistor would definitely be on, you won't hear anything because you're not switching it, but you'll definitely be drawing 80 milliamps through that speaker. Now to solve this, you can use what would be called high side control and then use the P-channel version of that MOSFET. In this case, when the DIO is pulled high, then the gate to source voltage is of the order 5 minus 3.1 volts 
and if I include the negative sign properly, we would say that's minus 1.9 volts. It's just slightly beyond the threshold voltage for this transistor, so you have a slight leakage current, but it's pretty small.